All right, so how can we fix this problem? Well, it's not real pro a problem. It's just the way it works. Now, I'm just going to go here and just to let you know, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to add some names to that list so we can, you know, get that problem uh, instantly and I don't have to type it again. So now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the text input and the button and I'm going to put them at the top so we can always uh, get the text input. And now I'm going to go right here to the app and I'm going to make the nav visible. So let me just do it. I'm going to chop it and I'm going to put right here at the top. All right. So I'm going to reload it and we get the nav at the top and then everything else. Now, uh, the uh, of course, to fix this issue, this problem, we get a component. And this component is call, calls scroll and then view. So a scroll view works just like a div with an overflow. That's pretty much the, the, the main idea. So if we want to make this component or this content scrollable, we need to wrap everything within this scroll view. So I'm going to I'm gonna copy and just close it at the bottom. So it's going to wrap pretty much everything uh, within this scroll view. All right. So bought a new mouse and it's a little bit crazy with the scrolling. So I'm going to reload the application and by default, uh, you don't get a width of 100%. Now, scroll view, of course, supports styling. So you can add whatever style to the scroll view. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give it a width of 100%. Let me make it right. With 100%. So if I save it and reload the application, we get pretty much the same behavior. And an Android, again, same problem. So Command M, reload. And, you know, we kind of get it. All right. So now notice that the content, now it's a scrollable. Right? Really, really cool. This just works like yeah, a real application. Now, remember that this is going to happen. This behavior will happen uh, within the content. You're, you know, wrapping this scroll view. Notice that the scrolling happens on this component, but this header, you know, it just stays the same. Right? So most of the times you're just not going to use the scroll view uh, like this. You're going to, for example, let me just delete that uh, right here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the scroll view, but you know, inside this component, just going to go here and say that I want to bring my scroll view. And of course we need to import it at the top. If not, we are going to get an error message. It's all right. I'm going to go at the top and uh, I want to type it again. I'm just going to copy it and paste. So I'm going to do copy paste. And if I reload the application, we pretty much get the same behavior, but now everything, every time we put something on the main component, and something right here, I don't know, like the list item, you know, let me just copy and paste it. Everything is going to be uh, scrollable, even the list item. You know, that's most of the times this is the way you use it. And of course, like, uh, like I just told you, this one, the scroll view works just like a div with an overflow. If I just copy this and put it outside the scroll view, everything is going to be scrollable, but not this. All right. You always need to remember this. All right. So let me just just go back. I'm going to leave just the scroll view and the, the input. Now with the scroll view, we get uh, a few goodies. For example, we get some props to trigger some callback functions. So for example, if you go right here, just let me show you. Uh, let me find it. Scroll view. And if always on the documentation, if you go uh, the, uh, to all the way to the top, you get all the props you can use. So you get a lot of things with this. I'm just going to show you a couple of these ones. Okay. So most of the times, and if you ask me how many times I use, you know, these properties, uh, I just used three or four in, in the past. That's it. So I'm going to go here and say, uh, I want on content just like this. Let me find it on content size changed content. There we go. So this one, it's pretty, pretty useful. So I'm going to just open and close. So on this one, we, of course, we uh, run a function and we can alert whenever the sites change. So I'm going to just say, hey, all right, I'm going to go to the application, I'm going to reload it. And all right, so first we get an alert, hey, and it's because uh, when this kicks in, this one, it's, get, it's getting triggered and this one, it's running and try to render all the information. So of course, on the first render, we don't really have anything. But then of course, it's going to detect all the names and it's going to add them to the list. So it's going to make the scroll view 
you know, bigger. It's going to add more height, it's changing the height of the scroll view. Starts at zero, and once we add the names, it's, you know, much bigger. So when that happens, you get a way to know when, you know, the height changes. So if I just add a name, let me just go at the top and add whatever. Of course, I add it and the height is going to change. So if I add it, you know, we are adding that value and the height changes. So with this one, what you get uh, as well, you get the width and as a first argument and you get the height as a second argument. So you get, you get a way of uh, to know, you know, what, what's the height of uh, what you're doing. In this case, let me just do alert the height. Why not? So I'm going to reload it and we get the height of the component. And if I add something else, right, we get, you know, something bigger. So very cool, really cool stuff. This is one, this one, it's really, really useful. Now the other ones, and I'm going to add this because not all people know what momentum is. So I'm going to add the momentum begin. And this one is just like the other one. It's just a callback function. And I'm going to alert something in a second. And then I'm going to get a different one, which is on momentum. And I'm sorry, I'm going to do it this one first, and then I'm going to do the other one. So the momentum, it's when you scroll all the way down and you, you know, just kind of a overlap this uh, scrolling behavior and then it goes back. That is the momentum, you know, when it starts and when it goes back, you know, starts and go back. So this is the momentum. So get a way to know when the momentum begins and then when the momentum ends. So for now, I'm just going to go here and say start. I'm going to reload the application. And of course, we get that, that alert. I'm going to go all the way to the top and, you know, we just get the start. If I start it again, we get the start. So you get a way to know when uh, the user reach, uh, reaches the end and they do this. So maybe you want to bring uh, to make a call, uh, maybe to an API and bring some more uh, data and you can put it, you know, at the bottom. So then, of course, you get the opposite of this, which is on momentum and uh, scroll end. And this one, of course, works pretty much the same, but backwards. So I'm going to do alert. And this is when the momentum ends, you know, when the uh, component goes back. I'm going to comment this out because at this point it's just annoying. I'm going to go at the bottom and let me do it again. I'm going to scroll and we don't get it. We don't get the, uh, you know, the alert because it's not the begin. If it goes, goes back, as soon as it's done going back, we get the end. And of course, you get the good old scrolling, just like you would get for, uh, you know, for web. So I'm going to say on scroll, and I'm pretty sure you get the idea of what's going to happen right here. So I'm going to say scroll, scrolling. All right, so this one is getting annoying. As soon as I scroll something, I get scrolling. And this is going to happen on, on every unit. If I scroll one pixel, let's say, I'm going to get that, you know, callback. Pretty cool, you know? Of course, you get a lot more. We could spend a day just trying to, you know, trying to show you this. I'm not going to do that. I just want to move, fo move forward to the next component. And uh, of course, if you if you want, you can go through through the documentation and just, you know, just put it right here and see what it does. Of course, if you click on this, they're going to give you an explanation of, you know, what you get. All right. Uh, OK, so uh, let's go to the next one and uh, we're going to talk about a picker and slider.